Good morning. Sunday morning coffee talk. You guys know how this goes. So, oh, I'll tell you guys, I've had a, I've had the most fabulous weekend. I'm talking quietly because there are other people here sleeping. Um, we've got a nice big snowstorm coming in. So right now, it's blue, gorgeous sky, and the trees are stunning. And I went to bed with wet hair, so yeah, this is what it looks like when I get up and I haven't done anything. I'm still in my jammies. What else is a Sunday for? And so I want to invite you in this moment to go as big as you dare to go. I mean, literally, what is your biggest dream? Is it being a billionaire? Of course. I mean, some of us can play the game of, oh, no, I wouldn't want that because it comes with. Let's take a little magic eraser and erase away anything that comes up as a fear. Because number one, guys, that's not you. That's not who you are. The you the you that you are is one of infinite possibility. And let's play with that word infinite. I mean, that's endless. There's no time and space within infinite. It's, 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 this video is not about infinite though. And then possibility, you know, what if, if, when you step into your dreams at night, when you're dreaming, if you could do, you know, a lucid dream where you're in charge, what would you choose to dream about? Would you fly? Would you, would you live the life of your, you know, whoever you hold up in esteem and on and on. But more than that, I think it would be about feels. What would you play with? What would you give yourself permission to do? Would you be a best-selling author? Would you go live, you know, get yourself a nice truck and a really nice trailer and go be a nomad for a while, go play around, travel, really just travel around? Uh, would you erase COVID and all the crap that comes with that, all the limiting, fearful, all that shit? Would you get rid of that? Right here with that one. Um, and, and just on and on. What would you do? And now, I want you to step into that person. I want you to step into that. Be that person for just a moment, just a blip. Give yourself permission of what would my world look like? What would my world feel like? What would I wake up in the morning like? How would I go to bed? Where would I be? And just in this moment, be that person. Just, and, and don't make it a big deal. Just make it an adventure. Come on, you guys know me. I'm Little Miss Fun Adventure. I'm all about the fun. Just play in the adventure of that state. So I was talking recently about how um, I've had some people asking me about my nomad trip and about the different states, United States, that I had traveled through and which one would be my favorite. And it's, I love that we call it states because all these things you want, all these, these best-selling author, all that stuff that you want is actually a state. It's a state of being, it's a state of mind. And so when you're sitting here considering moving or where should I go? Who should I be? What should I do? I would invite you instead to step into what state, state of being, state of mind, is actually calling you in those moments of restlessness? What's calling you? Is it fame? Is it ease? Is it fun? It's always fun. Little hint there. It's always fun. It's always about the fun. Think about it. When you want to be head over heels in love, it's because that's fun. It is fun. Been there? 
done that. Lots of fun. Lots of fun. Being, being so head over heels that you completely hand all your power away to the other person. <laughs> your world revolves around that person. I've had it happen several times in my life. Um, one with, you know, yummy man, wonderful orgasms, wonderful, just oh, delightful yumminess. Um, when my son was born, oh, fell so head over heels in love. And then when my grandbaby was born, once again, you know, and, and lots of times in between, lots of times. You know, love is, is, is wonderful, but it's about the fun. It's just, it's so much fun. And think about when you eat, when you go off a diet, why? Because you're having fun. Why do you eat that pint of ice cream? Why do you eat things you know you shouldn't? Big old pizza all to yourself. Oh, you know, you can, you can put in all this stuff, but it's, it's bottom line, go to that overarching state, the state that you're moving into when you do these things. It's a state of freedom. It's a state of free to have fun. Listen to that. You're free to have fun. How many times throughout our day do we say no to us have free to, to have fun? Nope. Got to go to work. Nope, got to clean the house. Nope, got to go do this. Got to go do that. So am I saying you shouldn't go to work? You shouldn't clean your house? No. What I'm saying is find the fun within there because it's there. You just have been playing a game of so long of, well, there's no fun in this. That you're not finding it. But it's there. It's always there. But again, that that's just going a little too, a little too big, a little too, too much work. Guys, life is about simple, easy, and fun. It really is. And when you move in to every state as being a fun adventure, and um, I'm going to have a little caveat here that I got this. I, I didn't really get this from this person. This person reminded me of this. I was in a part of a wonderful webinar yesterday, and this person had said this had reminded me it's about the fun. And I just finished, day before yesterday, I just finished doing a new video course called Simple Easy Fun, finally. I've had people bugging me to do that one forever. And it's done, and it's good. Actually, yeah, it was four days ago. Anyway, digression. Um, so I was in a great webinar yesterday, and this person had said something about letting every practice you do be a fun adventure. Don't make it so serious. We really do. Oh, I got to do my meditation this morning. Oh, I hate meditation. I don't feel like doing meditation. Oh, I haven't done my storyboards. Oh, I haven't done my segment intention. Uh-oh, my world's going to be come crashing down because I... Uh, stop. Stop. Stop making your life such a fucking chore. It's not. It's a fun adventure. You are here to have a fun adventure. And, you know, I hear people a lot say, oh, you know, we've forgotten that life was supposed to be fun. We forgot that. We didn't forget. We we're, There's not one moment, not one fucking moment of this life where you are less than a god. And I get so fucking sick and tired of people taking the human existence and lowering it down. I've done it too. I've done it too. And, you know, if you listen to my teachings, this is where it comes from in my life. When that crops up, when I hear some guru say, you know, you know, the, the, I don't know, they're talking about spirit guides or whatever. And then here's us lowly humans, or they say something about the human existence in a reference to less than I get so pissed off. <laughs> I get so pissed off. And then I'm like, wait a minute, that came from me. I am the operant power here, so that came from me. So in that moment, I have the opportunity to giggle because it's just a fun adventure and then choose to shift that. Choose to shift that way of thinking. 
And it all starts in here all every time, guys. It always is. So, um, you guys know I love to play with revision. Revision is so much fun. I mean, it really, if you guys are a video game player and you, you know, if your little avatar dies, just play again. Play it again. Infinite do-overs, right? That's your life. Guys, this is your life. Infinite do-overs. And I am not fucking kidding when I say this. We think there's such a thing as death. No, no, no. And I'm not talking about reincarnation. And I'm not talking about anything like that. Infinite fucking do-overs. And someday I will do a video on that. And you guys will understand what I'm talking about, but... This video is about allowing the fun adventure to seep in to the very fabric, the very atom level of your existence. Let that be your base foundation. Let that be the walls that your house is made from. Let that be soaked into every level, every level, be it air, your neighbor, the trees, the birds, feelings, moods, interactions, everything. Let fun adventure be it all, be what it's made from, be what it expresses to you. Let that be the overarching state of being of your existence fun adventure everything and that really takes the seriousness off of all the oh you guys know how i feel about hoops and hacks and and doing just bending over backwards to try and make your world create something Yesterday, you, you guys know I, I can do out of thin air like nobody nobody's business. I, I made my wallet appear out of thin air when I forgot about it and I was far away. Um, <clears throat> I've, I've had $500 just appear out of nowhere. Um, I mean, just on and on. Laptops offered to me for ridiculously low prices. Uh, yesterday... I had a, there was a drawing, I was a part of a drawing, you know, when you win things and, um, they didn't call my name for the, the drawing. And the premise of this drawing is that there's one winner and I wasn't the winner. But in that moment, I instantly revised that it was me, that she called my name. And it was so powerful that I was actually moved to tears. And as I was in that state of, oh my God, thank you. This is so cool. She, the lady said, as a surprise to you all, we're actually going to have a second winner. And in that moment, I knew it. I knew I had just done that. And instead of making it a big deal, it was, oh my God, another fun adventure. This was so fun. And I just got so caught up in the fun of it that I still hadn't even heard my name being called, but I you know, I revised it that it had. And so while they were drawing the name, I'm sitting here doing the happy dance and I'm like, I won, I won, I won, I won. Not because I'm trying to make it happen. Not because I needed it to happen. Not because I'm trying to force a manifestation to happen. But because, oh, the feels. The feels of that moment of being in such gratitude and appreciation. But more than that, the fun was so high that I was like tearing up. I was just so, oh my God, this is so much fun. <laughs> and then of course, out came my name out of her mouth. And at, by that time, by the time my name came, came out of her mouth, I was just like, well, fucking of course, of course I won. I had already shifted into that state, the state of I'm a winner. You know, guys, it's, it's all about the states. And again, if we're trying to shift out of a space of need or, oh my God, I've got to make this happen. There's no basis of fun or adventure in that. And it, it, it gets too serious. 
And how does that work out for you? I know how that works out for me. Doesn't work out at all. When we move into the space of, this is so much fun. This is just a fun adventure. This state. So let's say it's a state of being a billionaire or a state of being a self-made millionaire. You know, nobody handed this to you. You bootstrapped, you self-made, you figured it out on your own through fun. The entire process was fun. And you want to bring in that state of being. Whole oh, fuck. It, you know, how exciting, but you make it a fun adventure. You want to show people it can be fun. And that's what, you know, is the basis of all this. I want to show everybody this is fun. This is me, right, guys? This is me. This is the basis of everything I do. I want to show everybody life is fun. And if you're afraid, fucking do it afraid, whatever, because that's not you anyway. The you that's leading the way, the you that's got your back, the you that's got your hand at all times, the you that you think you're leading the way, no, 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 the, the The God you is in front of you leading your way, and you guys are holding hands, and you're like, okay, I'm trusting you not to run me into a wall or something. That you, no matter what state you're in, has always got your fucking back. Always. Always. But it is really fun when you can take that you and you, and you can create one being that is the most confident person in the, in the room, is, is so eager and so happy that it doesn't ever consider that it might bring something to it that should be a no. Everything that comes your way is a yes. Oh, yeah, hell yeah. Yeah, yeah, let's do that. That thought, that idea, that that endeavor, whatever. You know? Ooh, I want to be a, a best-selling author. Cool. Move into that state in your mind. See yourself. See your, your family congratulating you or your friends congratulating you on being a best-selling author or being a self-made millionaire. See your friends going, oh my God, I can't believe in this one year you did that. Or in this one month. Guys, the sky's the, the, your mind is your limit. I hate saying the sky's the limit. I mean, I know what it means, but the sky is not the limit because there is no sky, right? It just, that, that's a, that's an optical illusion. You know, it goes on and on and on out into the universe and multiverses and whatever you believe. So you are your limit. So move into limitlessness. Move into the state of being of limitlessness and let it be a fun adventure. No matter what endeavor you're taking on. So, you know, the, the idea of being a millionaire, the idea of a bil being a billionaire and being it overnight, sure, you could do that. Oh, well, I guess if I won the lottery. No, don't pigeonhole. You, there's, there's an infinite ways this can happen to you. So many ways that you can't even think of, but you can, you can, because you're that being that can, right? And regardless of all these things I'm saying, keep backing it up with, it's just a fun adventure. This is yet another fun adventure. Your life is not this, I was born, I live and I die. That is not your life. Your life is this the string of Christmas lights of fun adventure, fun adventure, fun adventure, fun adventure, fun adventure, fun adventure. My fun adventure right now is I'm up in, you know, a beautiful little lakeside community living in a gorgeous, gorgeous fucking cabin. Surrounded by the most wonderful people, the most wonderful, giving, kind, loving people. That's my, you know, and you might think, oh, this is where I want to stay. No. I know I'm not going to stay here because fun adventures keep coming my way. And as soon as this fun adventure is over, a next, uh, an even better one, an even fucking better one is coming my way. I can't wait to share it with you. And if you're going to call it your life, life is not a period of time. It's existence. It is your ex constant, forever, infinite existence. Yes, you, not you get to be Kristen for this period of time and then you die and become another person. No, your existence is Kristen. Infinite existence is Kristen, not you. You know, fill in your own name. 
I'm just using my own name. But again, I'm, for some reason, the whole, there's no such thing as death keeps eking itself in. But yeah, coffee talk. Coffee talk doesn't really have a genre. Coffee talk is just talk. You guys know me. I love to chat. Chat, chat, chat. I love to talk. I love to let this aspect that is me fly. Because for how long have I been holding this part of me back? And even, you know, and and that isn't that's gonna be the next adventure as well. Is no more holding this version of me back. No more doing this version of me on videos <clears throat> or seminars or webinars. And then when I go out into the real world, interact with the people who are sleeping right now, I hold this part of me back. I lower myself down to the regular conversation. I don't want to live in that kind of a world anymore. I really, really don't. So I set out the intention, the, the invitation for the adventure of... I get to be me, the me that lights me up the most, the me that, that gets, oh God, guess what, la la la. And I can talk about states of being and I can talk about <clears throat> you being a God and the operant power and, and then bringing examples, amazing examples and having amazing examples come my way. There is nothing, there is nothing I fucking love more than when I am talking with some person who I think is, I don't know, as, as average as can be when it comes to my world. And then they suddenly bring up some amazing story that raises them up into my world. You know, of course, it's a story of synchronistic events or <clears throat> interacting with the mystical or whatever, you know, on a higher level. I fucking love that. I come alive. Oh, that was very well said because that's exactly what happens. I come fucking alive. And when people, there are people who watch my videos, not because they, they are, they understand this. They understand this way of thinking that I talk about here, but for other reasons, whatever that is for them. And they try to interact with me on that that different level. And it doesn't work. It doesn't work at all. They'll find that if they're interacting with me, I'm not talking much. I'm usually doing something else. And our time together will be cut short. Just because I can't come alive. When they want to talk about COVID or corrupt government or depression or, or any of that limiting bullshit life. But the cool thing is, is when I'm talking with people like that, it gives me the opportunity to step into. So I was talking with a friend the other day and she was talking about her, her bad knees, how she has horrible knees and her family has always had horrible knees and she's going to be crippled. And she's going to have to have surgery and blah, 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 blah. so you know where I was, but actually where I was in that moment was revising what she was saying. So what I heard was I've never felt as good as I do now. My family has a history of knee problems, but doesn't affect me. That's not who I am. I am so healthy, and I am so happy, and I am so pain-free. And through me doing that, I shifted the two of us to a completely different level. She completely stopped her conversation mid-complaint and went off into something else about the beautiful birds and the beautiful trees and how calm and peaceful she feels when she's in this area and it it just shifted and we do this all the time and again in those moments when there's that shift I come alive you will see me palpably shift and I've had friends who have been around me in those moments and have said oh my god did you see how much you shifted and um, there was a time 
not too long ago, I think it was June, I was having a mental breakdown. I was having a total breakdown. I just, I don't know what fun adventure I was on in that moment, but I had a complete breakdown and I had the most wonderful friend who was there for me for nine fucking hours, sat by my side while I just, and then at one point she asked me a question and I completely shifted and moved into this person here. And in that moment, she was like, oh my God, did you see what just happened? I'm like, yeah, I know, I lived it. And she goes, what? And I said, that's where I come alive. I said, what's happening here is I keep trying to lower myself down to a whole old persona, an old paradigm that is not me. I can't fit in it. I'm trying to shove myself back into an old chicken shell, this, this giant chicken here back into her little chick shell. And it hurts and it's not fun and I can't stand it. And that's why I was freaking out. And I was like, that's what happens. But it was so cool. It was the most, and of course, see, I remember it. I remember stepping into that and going, wow, you know, who's this person? I love that person. I want to be that person 24 seven. And you decide this. This is another big basis here, guys. You just decide. You decide this is who you're going to be. And you decide it from a space of, you decide it from a space of, sorry, I just got distracted by something and my, my mind shifted off. Fun and adventure. You just, just decide it from fun, fun and adventure. You don't decide it from a, I have to have this. I need this. My world sucks if I don't have this. I'm afraid of these states over here. I don't like feeling this state over here. You just are like, hey, a new state just came up, said, hey, want to live in more fun and simplicity and ease? Okay, let's do it. Let's have fun. And you move into that state. You move into that way of being. <sighs> fun and adventure, guys. Fun and adventure. So I'm hearing people coming alive out there, so I'm going to skedaddle. Thanks for hanging with me this morning. Remember, guys, it's just fun and adventure. And what in your life makes you come alive? And when I mean come alive, what gets you gushing? You guys know I have a book called Living from the Gush. What gets you gushing? What opens that fucking valve and instead of the water just trickling out, kind of blah, it's now blasting out. What gets you going? Let me know. Comments. Bye.